Hello everyone, my name is Vic of EU's Market Biz, and for today I'm going to share with you a high very high potential token and also I'm going to share with you its website and discuss everything that's inside their website, okay? So without further ado, let's proceed to the topic. So this is the token, it's DAV coin, so it's ranked 646 in coin market cap, and the market cap of it is two million eight hundred and ninety-seven thousand US dollars. The volume in the 24 hour period is 186,000 US dollars. The circulation supply is 454 million. The total supply is 1,380,000,000. Okay, so you can get this token at these exchanges. So these are LA token, Bit4x, Bilaxi, HitBTC, and IDEX. Okay, so let's go to their website. To access their website, just click website at CoinMarketCap or you can simply type directly at your URL bar, dab.net. Right, so DAB is decentralized autonomous vehicles. It is the coin of transportation, blockchain based transportation protocol enabling a decentralized peer to peer global transportation network. Okay, so they are building a decentralized infrastructure to revolutionize the transportation industry on the blockchain. So, as you can see here in their website, there are two videos. So, the first video is an overview of DAB, and the second video is showing that. There is, an, there is a first Australian company that is utilizing the DAB protocol for shipping logistics already. So I, I think that's Australia Post as seen here on the picture, on the thumbnail rather. Okay. Right. So also found here um, below it is their social media link. So they have their um, Telegram, join the telega their Telegram, their Kakao Talk, their Twitter, follow their Twitter at DAB Network. Their GitHub, so if you're a developer and you want to contribute on their Dev community, you can contribute, um, you can join them at their get GitHub because um, Dev is an open source software, okay? So follow, um, subscribe to their YouTube channel, so you, their YouTube channel is updated from time to time, LinkedIn, Reddit, like their Facebook page, and of course their Medium, right? So DAV's protocol allows anyone to utilize transportation services or put their own manned or autonomous vehicles on the network, creating a decentralized peer-to-peer -peer transportation ecosystem. So what blockchain means transportation today, so these are the three. Decentralized ride hailing, convenience city transportation, and decentralized manned deliveries. Okay. So what blockchain means to transportation tomorrow, so autonomous drone deliveries, autonomous carriers, and autonomous ride sharing. So their blockchain um, enables or a verifiable ledger of historical data from service providers, matter of autonomous vehicles and users needed for insurers and third parties, a completely decentralized system that isn't controlled by any government, bank or company, a global payment standard between vehicles and their supporting infrastructure, a built-in smart mission contract which enables trustless cooperation between multiple vehicles and service providers. Okay? So their technology. So DAV is a framework of open source software, open source hardware, and a free decentralized marketplace where anyone can buy and sell autonomous transportation services. So their technology consists of three major components. So these are decentralized discovery, trustless operation tools, and communication protocols. So decentralized discovery it allows autonomous vehicles to discover each other, as well as service service providers and clients around them. DAV implements the centralized node discovery using a peer-to-peer -peer protocol that does not rely on, cent on a central server, but instead nodes are listed in a distributed hash table which can be accessed in an extremely efficient way. So a communication protocol, so DAV defines a library of standardized communication protocols for various transportation scenarios. This communication is divided into two groups. The first one is on blockchain communication done directly by called smart contracts and through events emitted by those smart contracts. The second one is off blockchain communication done peer to peer using DAV's protocols, right? So, trustless cooperation tools. The trustless cooperation between buyers and sellers of transportation services is achieved using a series of specialized smart contracts. These smart contracts enable multi party contracts between buyers, seller, and when needed between arbitrator, insurer, and others. These contracts are tied indirectly to the DAV token. Guaranteeing financial resolution for transactions between multiple parties without requiring any pre-established trust, right? So let's explore what they built. So these are their protocols. 
So let's check what they've built so far. So these are community built modules. So the first one is drone charging network. So it is a um, where DAV connect to drones and charging stations on an open network where they can buy and sell charging stations using DAV tokens. Okay, so this is made possible by one of their alliance members and it is currently available in northern Italy with five charging stations. So these stations offer charging services through the DAO network in exchange for DAO tokens. So that is the first one. It's called Drone Charging Network. The second one is Drone Flight Planning. So this is the where drones pass the waypoints of their planned trip and the route planner bids to offer a service in exchange for DAO tokens. So it is made possible by one of their alliance member also and it is currently offered in Nevada, USA. Okay, so that is Drone Flight Planning. Um, the next one is Drone Missions app, so it connects users looking to ship packages with autonomous drones. Users request drone services, drones bid for those services, and trustless cooperation is enabled by using the blockchain. So there's an integration where the first um, drone partner, Copter Express, as seen on the example there. There's a drone by Copter Express at the left side, so it's underway. So the next one is DAV command line interface or CLI and testnet. So it's their status is fully functioning testnet and identity generation already used by foundation projects. So work is connecting work on connecting the registration functionality with an identity smart contract is in progress. Okay, so the, the their developer portal. So their developer portal incorporates API documentation, communication protocols, and instructions for running their command line interface, local testnet, and block explorer. So multiple communication protocols written and a user guide for their CLI tools is now available. Okay, so their block explorer. So the work is underway to package the block explorer, enabling it to launch automatically from the DAO CLI tools. Uh, mission control is mission control serves as a discovery and communication layer that connects and keeps track of vehicles, users, and services. Uh, fully working for running simulated environments with drone deliveries currently being expanded to support the vehicles of their first partners. The next one is the autonomous boat. So the autonomous boat um, will display true, will dis demonstrate rather true autonomy by spending money to take care of its own needs, allowing it to operate independently for long periods at sea. So the boat is ready. So as you can see on the right side, there's the boat, and work on the onboard computer and its f final integration with the DAV network is in progress. So you can visit their Medium page because there's an article there about their um, autonomous boat. It's called Nemo, by the way. So they have this, they have named it already, so it's called Nemo. So the next one is a search and rescue robot. So the rover is a robot that will bid for missions to locate drones that have lost contact with their owners. So this is very, very um, useful for owners of drones. To go to their last known location and then using its onward lighter and computer vision, find them and send back their exact coordinates. So status for this is Rossbot's computer vision algorithms are being updated to support and identify drones. So these are their community built modules, all their protocols. So these are very very nice also and let's um, expect more as they are still developing, right? So let's go back to their main website. So that are their protocols. So the next one is the roadmap. So as you can see, here's the roadmap. And their white paper is also downloadable, downloadable here in their website. And here's their team of advisors. All right. Okay, so, and their main team that consists of their founder and since DAV is an open source, there is also a lot of open source contributors. Okay? And their alliance. So the DAV alliance brings together members of the transportation industry so that they may collaborate on standards and innovations for a global decentralized network. Okay, so view their alliance page. Let's view their alliance pages. So this page is where you can apply for their alliance. As you can see, you can join their alliance here by filling out the form here, right? So here are the alliance and their benefits of becoming an alliance is also here. So are also here rather shared knowledge and influence. Members of the DAV alliance benefit from shared knowledge and experience amongst the members, but also gain value from an interest group that could have a greater ability to influence policy and matter regarding autonomous vehicles across jurisdictions, blockchain technology and the DAV protocol 
access to the latest technology innovations, trends, and learnings within the blockchain industry from the leading technologists, experts, and strategists, access to blockchain applications, and the DAO protocol specific to the future of transportation. Okay, so they are building a decentralized commons for all. So DAO Alliance members will be at the forefront of decentralized transportation and autonomous vehicle adoption uh, by the mainstream. It is their goal to help bring this remarkable technology to the world and to share the benefits and successes with their members. So they invite you to become part of their global vision where access to safe efficient mobility is available to all and where anyone or anything can be moved anywhere with just one token. Okay, so these are the Alliance members, um, Mobi, H3 Dynamics, so on and so forth, right? Okay, so that is their Alliance page. Okay, so there's also um, some articles here from Forbes, Yahoo Finance, Coindesk, okay? And they also have their media page, okay? There it is. Okay, you can visit this one too. And their invitation to their Telegram group. And of course, their DAV YouTube channel. Subscribe to their YouTube channel. Some facts about DAV, uh, as you can see. Okay. Right. So I think that's it. Okay, guys. So include DAV in your Research um, list. Uh, I'm sure you're going to love this one. So, guys, I think that's it. Um, before we go, I just want to say that I am not a financial advisor, and everything I see here is not a recommendation for you to buy and sell crypto. You must always do your own research before deciding for yourself. Okay? So, um, this has been Vic once again. Um, see you on the next video. Bye bye. Thank you.